Can you hear me? Uh, there, that's what I'm looking for. Testing, testing, one, two, testing. <laughs> this is a horrible angle. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. So, listen. I gotta get on my prescription sunglasses so I can see. Ooh, these prescriptions are slightly different. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So, it hurts my head. Anyhow, that's, that's a beautiful way to start a vlog. And what an odd time to start a vlog. But here we are. You're on the road, kids. I don't know what we did before backup cameras. I just don't even know. But anyway, I'm leaving the Y, the YMCA. And if it looks like I didn't work out and I'm not sweaty, I'm not wet. I didn't get in the pool. That's because I took a gentle yoga class. Thank you. In gentle yoga, you're pretty much on the floor stretching. So I burned a whopping 56 calories. But here's the thing. Come on, sister. Go ahead. Here's the thing. You don't always have to go crazy with it. Sometimes you just need a gentle yoga class to decompress from your day. Yesterday was crazy busy. Today was crazy busy. And Shuri and I decided to do gentle yoga. We took aqua. It's called aqua aerobics here but in, in life it's water aerobics. So we took a water aerobics last night and that was awesome. And then tonight we took gentle yoga. And what gentle yoga does is it pretty much just gets you ready for bed. I mean, we got out of there and we're yawning and we're just, it's better than any, <laughs> any kind of medication, like just, relaxing not full-on yoga it's yoga but it's gentle yoga and I can't tell you how much I enjoy it I just there's not enough words to tell you how much I enjoy it so I thought I would start a vlog at 6 30 is that Cherie on Tuesday night 6 30 Tuesday night and I don't know is that our girl that's Cherie and she bought the cutest little Buick um, squirrel. I thought I would go ahead and start a vlog. I don't know where it's gonna go. I don't know how many days it's gonna last, but I know I haven't seen you guys in a little bit. So I was like, let's talk to our friends while we're on the way home. And I'm not gonna talk to you the whole way home. But anyway, I'm just really, I'm zenned out, I'm hungry, I'm going to go home and fix something to eat, I don't know what we're having, probably some 15 grain toast and an egg, I don't know, we'll see, I'll let you know, but anyway, Shane and I have a movie date night, because Riri, we have a, a movie date night on the couch, so I'll see you with dinner and movie date night here in a few. Yep. What? Your TV doesn't have an HDMI port. Is it plugged in? Clean up what's on the floor. One more bite, Ross, and that's it. Why are you doing this? I'm trying to think of another. Rounders. What's that? You should watch Rounders. You should watch The Color of Money. You should watch The Color of Purple. You should watch Goodfellas. 
I think I've seen. Before. You should watch The Godfather. I've already seen that. You've seen it? Mm -hmm. Part one. You should watch Godfather Part Two because Godfather Part Two is as good as Godfather Part One. Okay. I just didn't want to commit another three hours. You should watch The Shining. You should watch 300, and you should watch Braveheart, and you should watch The Patriot, and you should watch First Night. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Let's go do Wednesday. Got our water. I don't have any lemon. I need to get lemon. I'm going to Walmart tonight. Does everybody have their Christmas coffee mugs? Let's be merry. <laughs> It's the only one I could find, but it's all right. Okay, let's get our keys. A minute. Let's get out the door. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Look at Shane's new work truck. Isn't that so cute? Your dream home are experts. Your instant equity. I like the little you build it guys. That cracks me up. That cracks me up. Okay. Let's do this thing. Get Cherie's outfit of the day. That's so cute. Love it. Love it. She got ready Sheen. today. Sheen. So, God, that's so cute. Walmart shoes. Blah, blah, blah. With taquitos. Taquito. I got a real quick little haul for you from Ross. I just ran into Ross on my lunch break and I found a few funsies. I didn't get any clothes, just funsies. So the first thing I got was this fall candle and I'm gonna light it on my desk when I get back because we're all ready for fall. We're done with summer, even though it's 85 degrees and it feels like 95, but that's fine. In our mind and soul, we're already in fall, okay? So I got this Woodwick Caramel Crunch. What? Y'all know it crackles. God. This, even though I can't eat it, it's not good for my diet. Because <laughs> I like food candles, the food smells, and food smells make you hungry. That's okay. It's okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Um. I found this three-in-one gel base plus top coat plus hardener. So you can use it for all three of those. So I was going to go get a mani-pedi today, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to just do it myself. I want to do it myself. So I got this, and then I've got to go buy Walmart tonight. So we'll probably have another little haul. I don't know. It depends on what I get. Um, if I get anything fun. Otherwise, we're just getting dog food, and nobody cares about that. Um, but anyway, um, if I find any anything fun, I'll let you know. But I'm gonna do my own. I'm gonna do my own nails and my own toes with the regular fingernail polish. What? I was like, Amy, just do it yourself. You don't need to go spend a hundred dollars. Just go do it yourself for seven dollars. Then I found um, this mascara by Paris Hilton. There's three mascaras in here, a lengthening, a volumizing, and a high definition, and I'm super pumped to try all three. Uh, I'm not a makeup girl, but I am a mascara junkie. And then I found um, this Nexus Airlift Dry Texture for your hair, and I was like, it's a finishing spray, and I was like, I'm going to have that. Y'all know I love a good finishing spray, or I mean, maybe you don't know, and a dry shampoo, because my hair is real fine. And it just kind of, ooh, that smells good. And my hair just kind of goes flat. Oh, I have a hair appointment. Oh my God, this smells, I don't even care if it does anything to my hair. I just love this smell. I have a hair appointment on September 17th. It gives it a little bit of, a little bit of oomph. Um, September 17th, me and Cherie are going to get our hair done by the one and only Shanna Barone at Vision Salon because she's the only one that's allowed to touch my hair. She's the only one. So, I'm going to get my hair done. 
Um, anyway, this is Airlift Dry Texture Finishing Spray, and it smells like heaven. And when I say heaven, I mean magnolias. And magnolias smell like heaven. And then the last thing I got, so we're gonna try them right now, and I gotta get back to work. I'm not doing keto, but I wanted something sweet, so this is this is what I got. Okay, um, keto cookies, chocolate chip. So, let me put on my eyeballs, because mama can't see. God, my whole van smells so good right now. Okay, so one cookie is 80 calories, seven grams of fat, that's not good. Um, five carbs, still not great. Um, one fiber, not great. Zero sugars, which is great. And then two proteins, which is fine. 17 milligrams of um, calcium, which is, you know, it's whatever. So let's give this a, a test. Keto cookies. I've never, y'all know I don't really do keto. I kind of low carbish, but I don't. This is what they look like. I know, we've got the sun thing going on. Little bitty cookies. So one cookie is 80 calories. So for me, if I'm gonna eat 80 calories, I'm gonna need more than this. So let's give it a taste. I'm working out tonight, by the way. Um, it's a great weather to go for a run. They're chewy. Birds will love it. That's a no. No, don't waste your money. I'll give it to the girls at work. The birds can have that cookie. It's all natural, it's biodegradable, so y'all don't get on to me for throwing a cookie, a half-eaten cookie out my window. That's a no. No, no thanks. No. Okay, that's my haul. Get back to y'all later. Here's dinner. I have three pieces of tilapia. Toast! <laughs> Wyatt's letting me know the toast is ready. Three pieces of tilapia and about a cup and a half of broccoli. And then I'm also going to have a piece of 21 whole grain toast. All seeds. It tastes so good. Me and Wyatt love it. Um, five grams of protein, five grams of fiber, 260 milligrams alpha omega threes, and 22 whole grains. So to get my triglycerides down, I have to have a lot of omega three fatty acid or fish oil, whatever it is, omega. So I'll be taking this with my dinner. I keep them in the freezer. That way you don't, I was told that way, if you keep them in the freezer, um, you won't burp up a nasty fish taste. Anyway, after this, we're gonna go for a walk run. Here we are, out for our walk of the evening. I'm going the opposite way I usually go. Same route, but going counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. So I put down those three pieces of tilapia and that cup and a half of broccoli. And I had to force a little bit of the last of it down. I was full. I'm still super full, but I got it down. Oh, sweet little bird. Hold on. Hey, little baby, what's you doing? Just chilling on the sidewalk. You leaving? Anyway, here we are. Y'all, and it's cooler outside. Look at that sky. I've always said Oklahoma has the best sunsets. Now, I'm biased, but I just think Oklahoma has the best sunsets. Your sunset might be better than mine, but they all belong to the Lord, right? All the sunsets belong to the Lord. Anyway, <clears throat> 
when I went to Walmart, boy, my mascara and eyeliner is all over the place. When I went to Walmart, the only fun thing I bought was hot pink nail polish. That's it. I feel like hot pink is going to be my color for the winter. Not really the fall, but for the winter. I don't know. It might be for the fall, too. Who says you got to stay with golds and oranges and browns and blacks? You can do whatever you want. I'm almost 50 years old. I can do whatever I want. Anyway, um, when we get back, I'll show you my instant dry hot pink nail polish and I don't know if there's any other funsies I need to show you I don't know if there is you know I'll show you so we're only a half a mile in so we got a mile and a half to go okay so I'm gonna go do that so I think everybody in the neighborhood is curious about this great big hole let's go see I mean I don't think they can build a house down here there was a golf cart that just drove by husband and wife and they were looking they didn't walk down here they just drove by let me zoom you out like what are they doing down here I wonder if they're gonna build drainage because this is no place to put a house no place at all look at it's pretty isn't it See, there's a bunch of brick and stuff there. So we're all just kind of like wondering, what are you building? Yo, yo BA, what you building? And this is looking back up. I'm not going to go all the way down there because there's no reason. But I do want to see over on this side what's going on over here. I don't know. I do not know. There's a pretty little butterfly. A little itty bitty tiny yellow one. Okay, well this is a workout. This is a workout. Look at my my camera's dirty. Y'all dirty all the time. Incline. You gotta you gotta lean in to the incline. <laughs> oh, that's funny. God, I'm out of breath. Boy, they really dug. Look how high that work dirt wall is. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that's harder than Turkey Mountain. Jeez Louise, okay. I'm not in the middle of nowhere, don't worry. I'm back. I'm back. But isn't that cool? What are they building? There's markers all on the ground. Cox cable markers. Look. I gotta catch my breath. Whew. With an upgrade. Yeah, we fancy like Applebee's on the date night. <laughs> the dude's playing in his garage. He just pulled up in his golf cart. That music's coming from his golf cart. Look at their flowers. What? I can't even grow one freaking pot that looks that incredible. Okay. That's paid for. Look, what, is, what does Tyler Ramey say? You can't hide money. <laughs> okay. We're going to run this last strip. Before we hook a left, I'm going to show you guys. We're leaving the bougie part of the neighborhood. We're going to go back over here with the common folk where I live. This is our, this is where we're at. Y'all have been up and down this road with me. Let me walk so you can see the sunset. Isn't that pretty? Anyway. Y'all have run this road with me many, many times over the last six years. When we moved out here, this was the very first road I ran. It's one of my favorites. Ooh. 
don't you love walking by somebody's house and all you can smell is downy? <laughs> I'm like, they're doing laundry. They're doing laundry. <sighs> Looky here. Looky here. Sweet kitty in the window. Kitty, 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 kitty. That cat. Um, well, I got the dogs all barking. That sweet cat the last time, or one of the two times, me and Wyatt were out here walking. We, you know, we love animals, so we had to pull over and, boy, that cat went right to Wyatt. And they talked and petted and played for a minute. Sweetest little cat. Okay. With the golf course behind me, part of it. Drainage. I'm turning around. It's prettier that way. Okay. I live right up over there. So we're gonna take this street right up and around the corner and go home. Here's my exciting Walmart haul and then I'm gonna let y'all go. I got some Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salts Wellness Therapy with Rosemary and Mint. It's really good for sore, aching muscles, um, recovery, pains. I don't know, I have my glasses on so I can't see it, but you probably can. Um, two tubes of Colgate and some razors and then this is my pretty hot pink nail polish insta dry i love this stuff because it dries fast you put a coat on one hand put a coat on the other hand by the time you get back to your second coat on your first hand it's already dry throw a clear coat on it wham bam done love it i have it in several colors but i'm feeling the hot pink so that's that i told you i would show y'all and I think I'm done. My big hand in your face. I think I'm done vlogging because I've been vlogging for two days. Okay. Love y'all. Lord loves you more. See you. And I don't know the next video. See you when I see ya.